Hi, I'm Brenda Rose. I'm a fitness instructor here at the Billings YMCA. I have been instructing fitness classes for the last 25 years here. Today I'm going to instruct you on how to set up a Kaiser cycling bike. We're going to talk about four components. Saddle height, saddle fore and aft, handlebar height, and handlebar fore and aft. Um, this is Kelly. She is my rider. <laughs> I would like you to step right beside the side of Kelly and lift your leg to a 90 degree angle. Okay, what I'm looking for here is a pro the approximate height that I would like the rider to sit. This is just a beginning point for me to start making adjustments. So I'm going to take it up just about halfway up her thigh. Now position the ball of foot onto the pedal. Tighten by pulling up the strap. Go ahead and pedal for me. Now as you pedal, keep that foot parallel to the floor. Do not let the heel come up too far up or too far down. Now I'm stepping behind what I'm looking for is to see Kelly rocking too much to the right and the left. She's rocking side to side. The other thing that I'm looking for is the extension on her legs, that it is about a 110 degrees. Go ahead and bring your pedal to the stop with one foot at the bottom. Okay, now push your heel down towards the floor. Okay, I want to check her to make sure she's still staying level as that heel is being, being pushed down towards the floor. Okay, bring the pedal for me one more. Now I'm looking for Kelly's plumb line. That's if I drop a string from the center half of her kneecap down, it should be directly over the ball of her foot. So right now, it looks like if I drop that down, she's a little bit too far forward. So I'm going to slide that saddle back. I'm happy to stand up. choice. So it can be adjusted. So the rider rides lower with more angle to their body. But this can be hard on beginner riders because their, their core muscles in their lower back are not strong enough. Or we can bring it up. you can see that she's reaching for those handlebars. That again is going to put stress on that lower back. So go ahead and step off. Just a way to gauge that, how far that should be away, you put your elbow on the tip of the side, you extend the fingers out, they should, come, they should come in between the handlebars. So you can see that we have about a two inch gap for Kelly. So we're going to slide that all the way back, reposition it, Shape up Montana, let's go.